Hello, let's uh, do a quick recap of what we have learned in the previous lesson. For movement we use W and then we just uh, manipulate using this gizmo. For rotation press E and again we can click in different areas of gizmo to do different rotation operations and for scale we use R. For orbiting um, around object, click on the object, press F for frame to frame selected, and then you can orbit around it. Let's get rid of these cubes. How do we do that? So you, you can either select them here in the viewport or here in the hierarchy, and then press delete on PC, and uh, on the Mac you have to press command delete. Uh, command D to duplicate move away and then command D again and then move away like so and then we can um, select multiple objects by pre by pressing and holding shift command D to duplicate first task is how can we place these objects precisely on for example you can see that on Z it's 1.984 so one option will be to type values manually like 2 here and then here is minus 2.32 so let's do minus 2 here these guys on X they're also not very precise let's type in minus 2 as you can see this can turn tedious really fast so there is a concept of snapping to enable snapping you press and hold command and then just drag and unity will um, snap objects to a one unit grid uh, which you can see here so it's like one meter per step. How can we ensure that these cubes are not going through the ground? Right, we don't want our building to go through the ground. Our cubes are one unit cubes. It means they are one meter wide and height is also one meter and depth as well. Currently position is zero. As we start to move this cube out, you will notice that position goes to roughly 0 0.5 so let's type in this and now our cube is perfectly touching ground this shadow is uh, like a little shade shadow error just don't pay attention it's actually perfectly through I mean even if I go like this you can see that shadow doesn't really touch the tip here this is to do with um, shadow quality and bias we will cover that later but for now let's just assume it's ideally touching the ground at this point so we can uh, bring all these cubes up to this height as well here comes uh, another little challenge what if we want this building to be taller press R for scale and then we stretch it up to the height we want but now obviously we have piece of building sticking through the ground which is far from ideal we can manually bring it up like so and then it will become difficult because now our scale is not like an integer or some easy value to calculate and we have to bring position to exactly half of its height say the scale will be 2.2 and then position on y should be 1.1 this is okay to do that but imagine i want this one to be 1.65 and then this one should be 1.325 you can see that it's okay uh, I need to work on my math a little bit it should be uh, 0 0.8 and 25 <laughs> you can see <laughs> I have um, a little bit of difficulties to <laughs> divide apparently uh, sorry about that yeah anyway so there is a, a better way to do it these cubes each of them are game objects in fact we can create an empty game object uh, we go to the game object create empty as you remember unity will always try to bring objects in the center of your screen when you create it so uh, let's uh, zero out its position and then uh, grab this cube and then let's call it building and then we take this empty game object and then we call it tall building so how can we make object 
to scale from the very very base so we don't have to move it on the y-axis all the time we just make it a child of a tall building game object and now you can notice that when we select tall building our um, gizmo jumps to the very very base so um, now this is pivot of this game object if we select let's just rename it back to the cube it will make more sense if we select our cube you can see that pivot is right in the middle in unity you cannot just move pivot of the object but you can uh, create an empty game object and then uh, move it anywhere you want and then you can make it parent of uh, like this cube for example now we can easily scale up and down our game object and it stays where we want it to be this is a nice uh, trick and uh, I'm pretty sure you will use it a lot we can get another cube we want to make similar thing with the tall building when we create empty game object unity will put it in the middle of the screen parent this game object to the cube and then we can zero its position and now you can see it's perfectly in the middle now we unparent it and you will see that position is minus 2 and 0 0.5 on y so we put 0 on y and then we parent this cube to game object now we select this game object and uh, you can see we have similar effect but this way we don't have to move bring our cube to the origin and then move it out again let's grab this cube and uh, another way to create uh, empty game object in convenient way is to press game object create empty child and as you notice it will immediately place new game object as a child of this selected cube so all we have to do now is just to bring it out reset y to zero and then bring this cube as a child of this game object so how do we change the color well you cannot just directly change the color but uh, each mesh renderer has material if you expand this triangle here you will see the default material these are materials uh, unity is applying by default to every newly created 3d um, object but we cannot tweak it if i try to click on any of these colors nothing would happen unity would not let me in order to create material we have to look at this project tab here will be all our assets so if you bring image or 3d object audio music and um, stuff like that you have to store them in the assets this assets folder is actually in your hard drive unity creates it by default so here you can see our awesome game uh, project and then it will have this uh, assets folder then library project settings and temp we are interested in assets because that's what we are dealing with in here in the project view let's create a new folder first and call it materials now we enter it and then this folder is empty in order to create material we right click here choose create and then we select material let's call it uh, brick building and immediately first thing we want to do is change color because that's the easiest thing to do this will be our brick now in order to assign you can just simply drag and drop your material on the building here or you can select building in the mesh renderer component you will notice this materials line and then it's collapsed it might be expanded on yours but in mine it collapsed so we expand it and then it says size 1 element 0 default material so we drag and drop this material in here now we can edit it as we edit it you can notice that all the objects which have this material applied they will update 